Well, a shock to Shanghai businesses today. News of the coronavirus lockdowns has been accompanied by reports of stockbrokers camping out on the exchange floor and of companies recalling staff before the 5 a.m. deadline. Well, some reports say investment companies in this financial capital are even offering staff monetary incentives to camp out on weekdays. Well, the snap to stage lockdown will likely deal a heavy blow to businesses reliant on consumer spending, but economists say the city's industrial sector can largely withstand the, the disruption. So too can the diversified China economy. Overall, in terms of the direct impact, I guess it should be still uh, quite limited because in the end, the size of the Shanghai economy only accounting for a small portion of the Chinese economy. But I think to me, what's more important is the impact on the expectation could be more significant as con compared to the direct impact. Those expectations were that Shanghai may have proven to be an alternative model for COVID containment, but it's a Targeted restrictions appear to have failed to stem the wave of infections. So China's default zero COVID policy is likely to remain for longer, putting additional stress on the economy. Analysts at NetWest Group say the eight-day lockdown in Shanghai and lingering effects may shave up to 0.4 percentage point from China's economic growth. It's also hard in our predictions that PMI figures due this week will show China's manufacturing sector fell back into contraction mode in March. Well, some companies like the U.S. electric vehicle maker Tesla are suspending production for a few days in Shanghai because of the lockdowns, while major manufacturers like chip maker SMIC say it is business as usual.